The verbal attacks by Turkey against the rights of Hellas, Greece, have now become an everyday occurrence, with sequential irredentist delusions made by the President of Turkey, Tayyip Erdogan, and officials of his government, distorting the truth and misrepresenting the positions of Hellas and historical facts. The foreign policy of our country is always lacking, ever since the establishment of the Hellenic state, where the so-called allies decide on the interests of the Hellenic people. In the recent years of the memorandums, it is non-existent, since our national sovereignty has been irrevocably and unconditionally surrendered by its treacherous leaders. Strategic moves of vital importance are pending, such as the declaration of our territorial waters at 12 nautical miles, as we are the only country in the world who has not done so. It is clear that the political will for the rule of law is non-existent. We saw Mr Tsipras, who among other things, ministered the surrender of the identity of Macedonia and stated that the ocean has no borders. We saw Costa Zuraris, a member of the Hellenic Parliament state, that to lose a few islands does not matter, and other members of Syriza highlighting that Castellorizo is not located in the Aegean. A slew of ridicules by people, and it is disgraceful that they are members of the Hellenic Parliament governing our sacred land. On the other hand, the armament expenses for our army are cut back by every government, essentially inviting Turkey to constantly violate the air and sea space of our homeland, claiming lands that have belonged to Hellenism since the beginning of time, including the Hellenic land of Ionia that is currently hosting Turkey. The treacherous inaction of our leaders and their obedience to foreign interests have given the right for Turkey to boldly request the trademark registration of Turk Aegean, on 16th of the 7th, 21. And we find ourselves one year later listening to the government, specifically Adonis Yordiadis, stating his apology. The said request was approved by the EU in December 21, proving once again that we, the Hellenes, are alone and cannot rely on foreign powers. The stance of our partners is clearly against the rights of the Hellenic people. There is absolutely no defence regarding the territorial integrity of Hellas, which is openly threatened by Turkey, who disputes our borders, which are also borders of Europe. And even though after its invasion, Cyprus is under military occupation and has remained separated for decades, sanctions were not imposed on Turkey by the EU as they have imposed on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine, who as a matter of fact, is not even a member of the Union as opposed to Cyprus. Fellow Hellenes, it is imperative for the Hellenic nation, Ethnos, to assume the governance of the country and put everything in its rightful place. Today, decisions are being made by foreign anti-Hellenic politicians who serve the interests of foreign centres of power and never the interests of our homeland. The more we remain inactive, the more we lose. These times are crucial and must be on the side of the Hellenes. Everyone must unite with the Linus Sinelefsis, which was created to represent our nation.